Arklamas News Update. And good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your midday Arklamas update. The lieutenant governor says Louisiana will not be in this year's Macy's Thanksgiving parade. Lieutenant Governor Nungesser says they will not renew the deal to send a float to New York for the event. He adds the Macy's parade is not as profitable to the state when compared to the Rose Parade in California. We won't be in the Macy's parade this year. It was the end of a three year contract and because they moved the float by so quickly and we looked at the return on investment and it just doesn't come close to the investment and the return we get. Well, he also says the Rose Parade brought a $28 million return for Louisiana's $1 million investment for a spot in the parade. The Lieutenant Governor also spoke on tourism Monday at the Press Club of Baton Rouge. And he says 43 million people visited the state last year, and that's 500,000 more tourists than two years ago. Nungesser says there are many different ways the state is working to increase people to come visit, such as putting Louisiana on the map when it comes to films and focusing on getting things together as Louisiana gets ready to host the 2025 Super Bowl. Something he says will bring major economic impact to not only New Orleans, but the entire state. Staying in state news, a person found guilty of a sex crime against a child could soon be ordered to undergo surgical castration in addition to prison time. Louisiana lawmakers approved the bill Monday and it would allow judges to sentence someone to surgical castration after they've been convicted of rape, incest, molestation against a child younger than 13. The legislation now heads to Governor Landry's desk. It is unclear if he will sign it or veto it. Now, if this bill becomes law, it can only be applied to those who have been convicted of crime that occurred on or after August 1st of this year. Well, only on NBC, it's the time of year where the community joins us for the sixth annual Homeless Veterans Food Drive. You can visit one of Max grocery stores listed on your screen and buy a pre-packed bag of food for $10. Those bags will be given to homeless veterans in our area. We have until now, until June 12th to donate. Please do so. And we have an additional option this year. By scanning the QR code on your screen, you can purchase items such as toothbrushes, razors, socks, and other toiletries. Again, we have until June 12th to donate. Exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are expecting another round of rain and thunderstorms for this afternoon and evening. Around 2 and 3 o'clock, we could start to see another line start to push on through across southern Arkansas and then move into portions of northeast Louisiana. These storms will still have the potential of producing some gusty winds, potentially even some small hail, and in all honesty, an isolated tornado embedded within the main line also cannot be ruled out as these storms kind of push on through, kind of similar to what we saw uh, last night. And as we go into Wednesday, we kind of continue with the unsettled patterns. The surface low does strengthen back off to the west, and then a cold front will swing on through as we go into our Wednesday, which will spark up more chances of rain and thunderstorms. Don't expect much of a cool down though, even with the passing of the front, even as we go into Wednesday with chances of more rain and thunderstorms. We're still expected to remain kind of in the lower 90s as we close out this week and head towards the weekend. Fending low about 73 degrees for this uh, tonight. We'll see more linking showers, thunderstorms. And then for tomorrow, we will see temperatures back to the upper 80s as these rain and thunderstorms continue, winds continue out of the southwest. And now by Thursday and Friday, we'll kind of get a break from the rain. Matter of fact, we'll actually see some sunshine, but it's still going to remain warm and muggy with temperatures in the 90s, and we'll keep that even through the weekend with minimum rain chances as daytime clouds begin to return. Then as we go into next week, temperatures will start to fall a little bit to the mid-80s with more chances of rain and thunderstorms on Tuesday. Lows will continue to stay in the lower 70s this week through the weekend and also through next week. Well, that's it for our update today. NBC News Daily continues again. Please go by Max Market and let's, let's help our veterans in this area. Take care of each other. Check on your neighbors today. God bless you and I will see you tomorrow.